global automotive industry is driving towards the future of electric mobility. That doesn't mean, however, that the internal combustion engine is going to die down anytime soon. But what we are going to see is the coexistence of a full electric vehicle like this one, the smart electric, and a plug-in hybrids like this one, the Porsche Panamera. They and a few more. Lined up at global automotive supplier Bosch's proving grounds in Boxburg, these cars symbolize the growing electrification of mobility. And that is best reflected by the Volkswagen XL1, the world's most fuel-efficient car. Yes, it claims a fuel efficiency figure of 100 km to a litre. This two-seater is propelled by a 20 kW electric motor and 800cc two-cylinder diesel engine delivering 35 kW. The Volkswagen XL1 is a good example of the efficient blending of conventional and electric powertrains. On the other end of the spectrum is the Porsche 918 Spyder, a car that will make any enthusiast go weak in the knees. The 918 Spyder highlights the potential of hybrid drives, that is, the simultaneous increase in efficiency and performance without one coming at the expense of the other. Thanks to the SMG 180-120 electric motor developed by Bosch, the Porsche 918 Spyder has an additional 210 kW or 286 horsepower of driving power. The electric motor on the front axle of the 918 Spyder delivers 21.4 kg of torque right from the start, while the motor on the rear axle delivers 38.2 kg. The result is a total system output of 652 kW, that is 887 horsepower with a maximum 130.5 kg of torque, allowing the 918 Spyder to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in a mere 2.6 seconds. The hypercar's fuel consumption, on the other hand, is an impressive 3.1 litres per 100 km, making it more efficient in the new European driving cycle test than most small cars. From the 918 Spyder to the humble two-wheeler, This electric scooter is by a Chinese OEM. Bosch supplies the electric motor and the ECU here. With the Indian government announcing incentives for electric vehicles, Bosch has a good opportunity in India as well. In addition to electrification, the automotive world is seeing autonomous driving as the next big thing in mobility. In 2014, Bosch spent 10% of its sales revenue or around 5 billion euros on research and development to further enhance the company's innovative strength. A good portion of it in these two areas of mobility. I'm not braking, not accelerating, not steering, so welcome to the future. Sure. <laughs> this Tesla Model S tries to offer both in one package. Yeah, yeah. The car had to be retrofitted to make it ready for automated driving. We are approaching the crossing, as you see. We see a stop sign. We wait here. There are vehicles approaching the crossings, you can see the yellow boxes, so we wait for the crossing to be empty and then we go on. I haven't done anything. So it started on its own? Huh? It started on its own. 50 new Bosch components, which include a stereo video camera to recognize lanes, traffic signs and clear spaces were installed. Unfortunately, due to the rainy weather conditions, the car was not given to anyone else but the engineer to drive. However, I could experience it as a passenger. Once activated, the system performs checks and if it's all good, the purple light turns green to indicate that the car is ready to give the driver a break. The screens constantly show the environment around the car. A yellow box on the screen indicates a major obstacle while the green ones denote minor ones, which can be ignored. Cars like this one are clocking thousands and thousands of kilometers before automated driving becomes a reality in the near future. Automated driving offers three key advantages. It takes away the drudgery of driving in heavy city traffic for enthusiasts like me. It aids elderly individuals who have a requirement for mobility but do not want to drive and it also enhances safety on the roads because as we know, most of the accidents occur due to human error. And to reduce accidents due to human error in conventional cars, 
Bosch has developed a range of sensor and camera driven technologies. I personally liked this automatic emergency braking system. This rear cross traffic alert feature is based on radar and ultrasonic sensors in conjunction with the electronic stability program. At speeds of up to 15 km per hour, the system automatically applies the brakes if it detects a person or an obstacle dangerously close to the rear of the vehicle. Because Bosch has invested in 94 development and engineering centers worldwide, which filed nearly 4,600 patents last year. With a fast changing technology landscape, the engineers at the technology centers will have to keep raising the bar for the company to stay ahead of the curve. And India, as a market and a key engineering base, is already playing an important role in it.